Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is John and I've had enough of these old water trucks. Every year in the winter, the cows will walk into it, knock them off and there'll be water flying everywhere. As you can see, they're just sitting on blocks. They've done the job for the past few years, but I think it's time for an upgrade. I also plan to use this end of the shed to put the weanlings into as they have been staying in a different shed all year and I would like to have everything under the one roof. So first of all, we need to get rid of these old water trucks. Some come off easily and some need a use of the persuader. But there we go, we knock the, them off and pull out the old water trucks. Again, some of them weren't that easy taken off, so I put on my uh, safety glasses and got out the grinder and again got the water trucks off the wall. The old water pipe wasn't secured to the wall as I would like it, so I bought new clips for that too to clip it up out of the road. So there we are, Dad and I have got the whole shed cleared out and ready for the installment of the new water trucks. So these are head locking gates, a great job. To lock heads in, all you have to do is flick that clip over and when the cow puts their head down, their head gets stuck there to allow you to work around them. That includes drenching, pour on, sometimes even TB testing from it. So here's one of the new water trucks for the Weanlands down at the, uh, the lower end. It's a brilliant strong water truck. I think it's made by a fella David Stewart outside of Garva. But it's got a release valve at the bottom so you can clean it out easily. And there's the fittings. So first of all I swung that gate in the middle. You may remember uh, it just sitting on blocks the last time. But that is the other water truck, the bigger water truck for the cows. It's thunderbolted to the wall there with a barrier around it to stop them knocking it off the wall. And there's some conduit around the blue piping to stop the cows eating it as well. The smaller water truck is thunderbolted to the wall there with four bolts. It's a lot stronger so I don't think it needs a uh, surround around it. So here's me checking to make sure the gate swings and look at that, perfect. <laughs> Measured perfectly so I'm going to put a clip so I can pin it back against the wall in case I want the cattle to run the full house sometime. I hope you enjoyed today's short video. I will post an update when the cows move in in September or October time. But until then, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below if there's anything else you would like to see. Thank you and see you again soon.